Today for biostatistics in this particular recording, I am thinking of the uh, power size and uh, sample, excuse me, the power analysis and the sample size. And I just wanted to uh, get this recorded before the time slipped away and I forgot about it. Because what we need to do is we need the instructions to install another um, add-in under data analysis. It's the solver. So I'll come here to Excel and File Options Add-ins. You see, I've already added it in, but it would be down here under the inactive ones for you. I can't go back and undo it, but anyway, Solver Add-in. It would just be down here. You'll find it down here in this list, All right? And then you would go to the Excel Add-ins. You see I now have it checked and then you click OK. I'm going to cancel because it's already there. Uh, I already did this. We get the analysis tool pack and that. So I'm just going to cancel. Now when I go to Home, or excuse me, Data, and I have Solver. Why do I have what if Solver tool that finds the optimal whoop, value of a target cell by changing values in the cells used to target Okay, I haven't done this yet, so I'm just I'm just seeing what we can do here. Okay, uh, can I follow this? Let me just try to follow these instructions on the screen. Okay, I got Solver on the Solver dialog. Select C12. C12. As a set objective cell, click the value of option, value of option, I have to keep bouncing back and forth, but sorry about the flashing there, value of and enter 0.9, 0.9, Enter C2 in the by changing value variable cells edit box. C2. So you recognize here we're just typing in our cell addresses. You can click on the little spreadsheet thing and go and find it, or you can just type it in here. Enter C2 in the by, okay, and then click solve. Solve down here. So what should we expect to see? Solva tries out different values of the sample size per group until it finds a sample size that satisfies your criterion of 90%. Okay, so the power we selected was 90%. Uh, we're accepting a 10% false negative rate. Our beta is 0.1, therefore our power is 1 minus that, 0.9 in this case. And if you don't understand that, that means you haven't been reading the chapters in your textbook, so go read your textbook. Uh, you need 16 observations per group. Let's see if that's what we get. Objective cell contents must be a formula. Okay, I guess we don't know what's supposed to be in the objective. Uh, see, this, here's a Let's see, open this in a new window. Okay, more and more things to spend money on. Anyway, uh, we just need to find out what to put in that C12 to start with, right? So the set objective, we'll have to check that out. But this should be the results that it would give us here. You probably can't see it, but it's uh, N per group is 16, alpha is 0.01. Uh, that's strange. That really, for power, that should be our our beta. Anyway, SSB, MSW, lambda, V1, V2, E, <laughs> critical F, and the power. So a little more work to figure out how all this uh, means. 
sums of squares between within. Okay. V2 are degrees of freedom within. Critical F value. Final thoughts. Uh, so um, I'm going to uh, print this to a PDF and we'll get it posted. Uh, but uh, I just want to take some steps to get closer to using the um, uh, Excel to uh, work with power and sample size. If I go to my JMP that I have here, let me see if I can get that to come up. Found that already at another uh, website. Go to DOE sample size and power. Let me pull this in. Uh, I'm just going to do the one sample mean since that was the example I did. We can discover others. Do I seem like a novice doing this? So here we have our our alpha at 05. Well, maybe I need to read the chapter. <laughs> um, and let's see, I printed this out. So I'll just read it to repeat what I saw on that web page. I've got the, the web page. Uh, well, it's hard to read. It's printed out small. 0 0.05. Okay, standard deviation of 2. The extra parameters are left as 0. We can discover what that might mean. Uh, difference 1.5. So we think might be the difference between the two groups. And we're just going to calculate power with this and say you could leave the sample size empty and put in your power. Um, see this, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm recalling I just read <laughs> some of the chapter on this. We do set our alpha here, we'll accept a 5% um, uh, false positive. And by setting our, well, we're going to determine what our power would be going forward in this direction. So we'd, we would be accepting, so 89% uh, is our power. 1 minus 89 is 11, is that right? So we're accepting a beta, under these conditions, we're accepting a, a beta false negative of 11%. And we can do an animation script here, and you should recognize this. So this is showing a two-sided. If we do the low side, Right, so we got the uh, 0.025 on each side, distributed to each side. Here we've got the 0.05, and you can see uh, where we're getting our false positives and false negatives. We showed this in class. We do only the high side, uh, and uh, all of these become the uh, false negatives. So we got a sample size, an alpha. It's giving our estimated mean, true mean, um, hypothesized. Uh, mean difference, right? 1.5, standard error of the mean, our beta value, uh, and the uh, the power. Mm -hmm. i got to take a look at this. I'm not sure what that's telling us there. But we're all on a learning curve, right? <laughs> uh, ability to learn, hopefully I'm still hanging somewhere up here and not uh, in my stage of life tapering over here. Hopefully you're way over here, you're learning, if this is your learning curve, right? Throughout our life, somewhere, at some point we peak and then it begins to taper, right? So I don't want to get over here too soon. <laughs> hopefully I'm still somewhere in here, kind of uh, where I was uh, 15, 20 years ago, That what, what it would be. Anyway, I'm just going to stop there. Um, we'll investigate these to uh, learn more on how to uh, go backward, put things in, and uh, determine what sample size would be optimal. In the chapter in our textbook, The Essentials, uh, Essential Statistics for the Pharmaceutical Sciences by Philip Rowe, uh, talks about all these uh, very nicely. And uh, I'll leave you to discover some things on your own. And for now, uh, we'll just end it there to get things going.